<laughs> That's about as American as it gets, bro. It's America. Is this thing on? Check one, two, one, two. It's fucking crazy. There's invincible, indestructible. He's living for like 10,000 years. Five, four, three. That's one of my biggest fears. Oh, headphones. Put your headphones on. I'm going to wear these, Granter, just because I should have mic checked everybody's shit. You You can move this towards you. You can move the whole table towards you and get comfortable. Welcome to the Hunt for Greatness podcast, you dirty little scoundrels. This is the Sanford, Sanford's finest podcast, people. And if you don't know what Sanford is, then fuck you. I got Mike Walski. I got David Miracle. You got, dude, I should have fixed that. And I got Chris, the psychopath Graner, on the podcast. Fancy white trash. You got to get your mouth close to my mouth, Graner, if you want to talk. You know, I need to hear your voice real quick. He does. He does. Let me hear your voice, Graner. Can you hear me? Come closer. Am I close enough? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Close enough. I feel like I'm going to breathe too hard. You remember Helga Pataki, that dude? (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, (laughs) hey, Arnold. Yeah, you got to be close to it. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You got a piece of duct tape. I got, is there? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, angle it like this. This one's doing the same shit. So if you, yeah, angle it up Uh, like that. See if that works for you. And if you want it to come closer, do like this. We good. We good. How's that? Perfect. Yeah, and being want, the second person to drill on your mic, you <laughs> you want to be able to lick lick the microphone if you need to. That's how close you want your mouth to be. Can we? Can you we, understand what I'm saying? Can we cut the camera off and let me practice a little bit? <laughs> I need you to swallow that microphone whole day of a miracle. I could probably get it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So tell me, tell actually tell the listeners how y'all know each other, and I'll just we'll start with you, Mike, and then David, and then Graner. I just want to hear all three of y'all's explanations on how y'all know each other. <laughs> Well, I grew up with this crazy motherfucker. We met sometime in middle school. Uh, he moved down the road with Buckhorn, Buckhorn Tribe. Buckhorn. Bunch of fucking misfits. We weren't even fancy white trash. We was like fucking degraded white trash <laughs> back then. A little piece of shit. Um, Big Dave, fuck, man. I don't even, like, we just it's out just of gotta fucking be around. nowhere. Yeah, just out of nowhere. We, I mean, we've known each other like off and on like kind of had the same click knew the same people but then we started like really chilling like what like four or five years ago yeah so my dad yeah. inseparable he's bae so you know him granny your whole life yeah yeah uh, basically like like about 15 yeah yeah like the whole life you know like forming memories yeah. and type shit yeah. like being able to leave the house sleep over type shit yeah yeah. yeah yeah which is the whole life yeah. so so y'all hung out a lot at Buckhorn, correct? Right. Well, me and him did. Yeah. Me and him did. I've heard a lot of crazy. Shout out to Buckhorn, everybody on. Yeah. Li- I know you got some Buckhorn yeah. people oh, tuning sure. in to the for live sure. feed. For sure. We're on the live feed too. Anybody who's listening to the audio, anybody who's watching on YouTube, um, but they grew up on Buckhorn, and that's where my cousins lived at. And I guess that's probably how you knew them. Yeah. Who they yeah. were. Yeah. So y'all got some crazy ass story. I want to hear about Boot Jack. I want my um, listeners to know about this fucking oh, man. Boot okay. Jack. All right, so, man, there's, there's so many stories about Boot Jack. But, like, put you in the mindset of what Boot Jack was, okay? He was, uh, what, well, how many different varieties? He had boxer and what? Boxer, pit in him, something like that. All right, but he's this little black and white dog, okay? Now, he's the only dog that couldn't fucking swim. You ever seen that? Like, I'm the only dog I've Can't swim. Known. Couldn't swim. Because he had this muscular fucking body and his legs this fucking long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, like, that was his biggest thing is he couldn't fucking swim. He'd get in the water and he got his little fucking T-Rex arms bobbing. All right? So, but he's so fucking mean, bro. Like, you tell him to get this fucking rock and we'd be out there in the fucking yard. Get the rock. Get the rock. And he'd eat the fucking rock. and Swallow the rock. Yeah, just, Shit just out. fucking swallow the fucking rock. Terry used to get so fucking fucking mad shout out to terry he used to get so quick tell me the goddamn rocks but, so i'll tell you the story i hadn't even mentioned so we're all down at the pond fishing one day 
and Bojack was so fucking mean. Like when you you had to like bait your hook up in fucking secret, and then fucking tactically throw that motherfucker because he'll try to get it. Yeah, because he's trying to get the fucking hook. Because you're fucking with it. All right, so you go to like reel this motherfucker in. He's over there by the bank. Like I'm gonna get this guy. And like you, you got a fish. He's fucking with it. Whatever. So fucking one day we're all just sitting out there. And I'm sitting on the bank. Fucking Terry's out there fishing, and he's like, I think Grant remembers this. Uh, Terry was like. Bootjack, go get it, and just points to the fucking wood line. This motherfucker darts off into the fucking wood line. And all of a sudden, you hear him rustling with something. It was like, what the fuck is he messing with? So everybody just kind of puts the shit down and go over there. This son of a bitch had a possum. Had a possum. Oh, yeah. shit. Yo, and he was going in on this in possum. In the daytime? Bro. Yeah. Oh, you and, know it's got and, rabies. And, 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 and he wouldn't even, and it wasn't even like the bulldogging like he does with a snake. Yo. He would grab this possum and like crunch the bones. You could hear like everybody oh. like, oh, my God. Because you could hear the bones crushing. And as soon as he got like one spot soft, he'd move over an inch and start crushing the bones and shit and just ripping it all over the place. I mean, Boo Jack was a beast. Boot Jack was a beast. Boot but he was, Jack. Yeah. Why is his name Boot Jack? Bro, he'll take the boots. No, he'll take your shoes. It was and shit. just some shit to Terry, Terry and his sisters. Um, sounds fit. That came it over. Sounds fit. But like he was just he was it just does. crazy, bro. Just crazy. But uh, I tell you another story. Uh, my boy Clinton comes up one night and we're all chilling up in Terry's room. Now I put you in the mindset. Terry's room was a room over the shop outside the house right and you walk up these long stairs and you go in there you had couches whatever that's where we chilled at sign the walls all that shit well we're sitting up there one night clinton comes up there he was riding us fuller had his damn riding boot on now we had never like we know boot jack the hump shit and we like i told you we we put him on walmart before okay but mike like, walmart yeah <laughs> shout out my walmart so uh so fucking we was like we were like we grabbed Clint's leg and was like, get it, get it. And then Boo Jack started like humping the riding boot. And, uh, you know, Clint tried to shoe him off. And then Terry's like, hey, Bo, he's like, you got your riding boot on. What's the worst that can happen? He's like, let's see what happens. Yo, so this son of a bitch hit third gear on that fucking riding boot. Bo, his ass, his ass just going all over the place. Bo, all of a sudden, the water sprinkler went off. He was jizzing all over the fucking what? place. What? The dog all, started yeah, coming, yeah, dude? All over the fucking Holy riding Holy shit. Oh, I've dad. seen dogs hunt, but I've never seen them come. Dude. Oh, dude. Mike Walmack must have good ass. That's all right. Dude, Mike Walmack make boot jack come, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, that was that was Clinton's riding boot that oh. night. No, now the Walmack story. No wonder his name's Boot Jack. Yeah. So the Walmack story is, you know, we're all st- sitting in the room. We had Mike the VHS Walmack. recorder, and we're like, oh man, let's do some jackass shit. So Ben Bourne's standing there, like, hey. Put the fucking coveralls on, put the whole jumpsuit on, and just let them attack your leg. Well, like I said, <laughs> Boot Jack is this fucking ball of fucking straight muscle. So when he hit fucking Walmack's leg, Walmack went down. Damn near simultaneously. Walmack's yeah. about 125 soaking yeah. wet. Yeah, with bricks in his pocket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so Walmack's down on all fours now. Boot Jack's got the death grip locked in. Paul's wrapped around his fucking Bruh. waist, just tearing his ass up, biting his back, just... So he was a savage. Yeah. But yeah, that's how yeah. y'all were too though. Oh yeah. You we think the dog retarded. like got his personality we were, from we y'all? Retarded. Yeah. Had to. Yeah, had to. Had, had to. to. Y'all had gave to. It Terry's parents hell, didn't y'all? Oh fuck Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I done heard stories about y'all, bruh, son. Bro, bro. Granner stabbed somebody down there and Granner, shit. Granner got attacked. <laughs> Rape somebody. <laughs> Granner got to stab anybody. You got to get real close like this right here. Get real close. I did not stab anybody. Allegedly. For the record, Allegedly. strike that from the record, Your Honor. Gra- Gra- How about the time Terry's mom came up in there raising hell on all of us? And she she came in the door and like Granner would take the butt end of fucking everything somehow. Like he, I swear he could have been outside across the fucking yard <laughs> behind the car. She came in there, fucking kicked this concrete table over, and Granner trying to. Jump up on top of the fucking couch, and the shit went flying everywhere. I was like, yeah, "What? Ooh. They always blame Graner?" Yeah, uh, no, it was just it, no. It didn't matter who was fault. Like anything that happened, he caught the butt end of the shit. Like mm. just, yeah, when the explosion happened, it happened in front of my face ex- all the time. Every what time. explosion? Yeah, yeah. Whether it but was you somebody blew like, shit up literally <laughs> though, you made bombs and shit, right? Yeah. That, this is true. Dude, you're not going to get in trouble for this, dude. No cops are going to listen to this. Take it. Dude, this is all like, what do they call that shit when it's like so far in the past they can't do shit? I don't like know. double it's jeopardy or something. Limitations. Yeah, that's the statute of limitations, bro. You can tell us about that time you stab that dude if you want to. Yeah. No, I really want to hear that. Judgment free zone. I really want to hear your story about the stabbing. You got to get right here on the mic and tell it like this. <laughs> Start to finish, bro. No. 
<laughs> Rainer's no. going to tell everybody on the podcast story about how he stabbed a dude and ran him over on a scooter. It was not me. I did not stab him. You did run a man tell, over on a scooter. the whole story. I, I saw that with my scooter. own eyes. I owned the scooter. But just tell the scooter story. My man ran through the ditch and hit this dude on a scooter, man. <laughs> I swear. It was not. <laughs> Granter had his eyes closed. Lying. He was sitting at the... St- I was behind him. I was like, man, Granter's... No, wow. you weren't. He, no, you yeah, weren't behind, right behind him. Are you serious? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I was right behind him. Man, we're going down the road, <clears throat> and Jeremy Clark was with us. Jeremy's like, man, check that dude out on that scooter up there. Got a reflective vest on, like he's high viz. Nobody, nobody could could miss this dude. Next thing you know, sparks flying everywhere. Dude's rolling through the yard, and uh, <clears throat> I was like, oh shit. <clears throat> so we went up a little bit and turned around and come back. We come back. There's a dude in a safety vest standing on the side of the road, like waving, tra- like directing traffic. I was like, "Man, them volunteer fire department guys are on their fucking game." <laughs> it's the dude he hit. The dude he hits because I was like, "That dude's dead." We come back. <laughs> he's directing traffic. His scooter's busted. I was like, "Goodness gracious!" But at the stoplight right before that, I guarantee you, Granny was listening. It's like Rob Zombie or some shit because he was in the <laughs> car. The car was shaking. Let the bodies hit the floor. Exactly. Let the body. And then he ran. The car in front of Griner swerved around <laughs> the guy in the scooter, and Griner ran right over top of him. So you never saw the guy. Is that is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you're fucking never trying saw. to tell me, bro? Like I was just I mean, the man I was, was drunk. It was drunk. That's beside that. Don't, that doesn't matter. How does that matter at all? all right. It's perfectly cool to hit him if he's drunk. That's yeah. it. I mean, it was his fault. He moved. He moved over to miss some mailboxes because when I hit him. He flew off into the mailbox. Yeah, he did. So, <laughs> but either way, he was drunk. He got arrested. <laughs> he did get it. And we told you him. hit him, and he went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> his uh, his his scooter laid in the ditch for like four days, and we talked about Jesus. going back and stealing it. But when we finally got the nuts to go back and check, it was gone. Oh my god! So you were behind him when he hit this? Yeah, guy. I was directly. behind So him. you hit him, and he just flew into the mailbox. At least the scooter did for sure. His scooter did for sure. I know that, but I didn't see where he landed because by the time I come back around, <laughs> by the time I come back around, he was already standing in the road directing traffic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you hit him and you turned around to see. Well, yeah. I mean, I just ran a man over. Of course, I got to turn yeah, around. Okay, I'm just checking. And then call the police ask. and get the dude arrested. Wow, I wasn't, dude. Like, I tried to call. I tried to call the police. He Graner, said, Graner did do everything right. After he hit, except him. for it running a man yeah. over. I mean, after he hit the in man, a he, did, vest. he did everything. No, but he wouldn't give me his name. He freaked me out. It was weird. Because he was drunk. Yeah, he and he didn't drunk. want to get the DUI. All right, tell us about the time y'all stabbed that dude. I did not stab. Tell the us dude. about the time you were a part of a stabbing. Well, we got <laughs> incriminating <laughs> evidence. <laughs> We got took. Just don't. Just we got, don't use your real name. Somebody facilitated a, a robbery. This this was years and years ago. Somebody facilitated a robbery. Per this se. was this was March fourteenth, two thousand nineteen. Timeline. It was not. But anyways, the person that was a part of it happened to be at the pool room. So a f- red, rest of soul, and another person. Can I name? Well, yeah. She, Shane Brown. <laughs> He's already locked up. He's, not gonna catch yeah. Yeah. He's locked up. Yeah, I can mention that. So, uh, they got podcasts in prison. <laughs> but anyways, we caught him outside of the pool Shout room. Shout out, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> we caught him outside of the pool room, and we, well, we jumped him. But... I just, Shane stabbed I just, him. It wasn't me. But That's I, probably why he's. I, I do want. I do want to make it clear that it, it was breakers. It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh yeah, breakers is closed. Yeah. yeah, not the good pool. Not room. the good pool. Room. Yeah, not, not speakeasy billiards. Yeah. So y'all beat the dude up. You you didn't no, know I that. I did. I well. You beat the guy up and then homeboy pulled out a switchblade and hit him in the ribs with it. Well, no. See, <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to. <laughs> jerk. Yeah, the he couldn't run his pockets because he wouldn't stop moving. So I was trying to. Granner couldn't get his pants off. And he kicks me. Well, yeah, I was trying to jerk, well, anyways, to jerk he, him off. He's kicking me, and then and then he gets stabbed. That's how that happened. So what the fuck is going through your head, Shane? Like whenever you somebody's already getting beat up, he's already getting beat it's up. It's three right? on one. It's, it's three, three on, on one, one, and you Red pulled was, a switchblade out. Red was standing there. So so Granter's beating up a boy, and homeboy just stabs him in the leg for GP. 
Yeah. Is that? Yeah, is he that was what hyped. He, he was just so. He, well, he, was he just wanted so him to stop kicking so he can get his pants. <laughs> he was just so hyped. Yeah. He had to do something. That's all he did. That's all he did. He just popped in, stabbed him, and bounced him. Where, where did he stab him at? In his, like, upper thigh. Like, oh. I mean, I mean, like, God let's, let's damn. be honest. Like, Welcome Sh- to Sam. Shane was never much of a fighter. Like, the very first fight I really ever got into was saving Shane's fucking ass. Like, look. Tell me right. about it. Okay. Oh, I got to tell you. Tell me the whole story, Walski. All right. So, uh, the back story behind it is, is Shane fucked Stuart Tanner's sister, okay? And they they got. So dropping names. Dropping names. I told Bucket them first. I'm dropping last. names. Why don't you go ahead and Don't say their middle no name, fuck. too? I love it, dude. Christopher Shane Brown and Stuart <laughs> Tanner. Right. So, so they they had their little thing. I mean, God, bro, this was damn years ago. So they had their little thing, and there was some animosity between Stuart and Shane because the shit happened, okay? So Stuart's having a house party at his mom's house, or uh, mom's boyfriend Steve's house. I mean, this house is loaded full of motherfuckers, sh- elbow to elbow motherfuckers all over the damn place. And they were having some little bitching argument back in the back room, and I was like, you know what, Shane? I was like, look, just go in and handle your shit, man. Just like, if y'all gonna fight, just do it. But like, everybody was instigating it, so I'm like, you know, I got your back. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you, all right, whatever. So they ended up fucking scrapping or whatever. Shane threw the only punch he's ever connected with in his fucking life and hit Stuart right in the forehead and whipped him up so bad like Stu had his hat turned around backwards and you could see his hat bolts out right here. Fuck. Like, yeah, like he got him good. Well, so there was another dude, Sexton. Chris Chris Sexton, Sexton Carl Chris, Sexton's yeah, brother, yeah. yeah. So Chris Sexton, I guess he was he was all hype, like he was like, you know, because he knew Shane won't shit, whatever. Well, in the process of it, Stu had scratched Shane's eye. Shane had contacts in it. pulled his contact out. Well, Shane was in the bathroom trying to put his contact in. I'm like, okay, shit's over with, right? So I made my way to the kitchen. I'm standing there. I think I was talking to Jeremy or some shit. And uh, fucking all of a sudden, I hear Chad Gunner running down there. Walski, Walski, Walski. Dude, sucker punch Shane. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, come here, come here. So I make my way through all these people, get back there in the back bedroom. And like when you walked in the bedroom door, back in the back corner was this bathroom. And you, you, you could see like the mirror in the bathroom from the angle I was standing. And Shane was still in the mirror with this Chris Sexton dude came and sucker punched him again. Bah, hit him. So I fucking, well, what he wasn't counting on is me standing right there at the fucking door when he came out. So as he's turned the corner. Second and sucker punch, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I saw the second sucker punch. Yeah. I saw Shane's head go like that. So I'm like, all right, bet. I got him. So when the dude come out the bathroom, I just grabbed him by the fucking neck. Boom! Molly whopped him right in the fucking nose. <laughs> yeah. like, I did a gold crow hop right on his fucking face. Shit. And then fucking, then like we went to tussling, fell down in the fucking hallway because there's like people everywhere. Like you couldn't move. We fell down the hallway. I fell on my back and like I'm looking over this dude shoulder and fucking red rest his soul it's kicking this motherfucker in the back it was like a fucking drum on his chest i could feel the percussion of these fucking kicks in this dude's back in my chest where he's stomping yeah, it yeah so we're rolling down the fucking hallway and come through but yeah i mean fucking yeah it was it's shane yeah. shane he's he's something else man just is else. he still yeah. he's still locked up yeah, yeah it's like every time he gets out he does some other stupid mm-hmm. shit yeah. yeah, he's on. It's like breaking into houses or some shit. All, all kinds of shit. All kinds of shit. Y'all um, couldn't have no party without a scrap. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Basically, let's couldn't, be honest. Couldn't Man. nobody have a party Bro. without no scrap. But back especially then. Dudes, them. Yeah, they showing up wrecking. Everything. Oh, they're going to anybody's they're party. Fu- yeah, they're yeah. fucking everything up. Bro. God. Damn. When you get more than a couple of us together, man, we even had Kristen fighting in the goddamn club, okay? Kristen in the club. Jeremy's old lady yeah, talking yeah. about. When was you she fuck around, in the club? Fuck around Shout and getting her Kristen. selfie. She Shout out Kristen. Y'all know she's watching. Fuck yeah, around and getting watching. her selfie. Fuck around and getting her selfie. So we're at, we're at the club. Now, I ain't even going to I only have to talk about the part where Jeremy's pulling a tray of cookies out of his jacket <laughs> while we're up in the fucking man, that's, club. Man, that's a funny story in itself right there. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Jeremy, so, so Jeremy, all of us were sending there chilling. And Kristen is all about her selfies. You don't get in the squad picture. Well, this innocent bystander bitch, I call her innocent, but she was dumb. Okay. 
she, we're, we're lining up for the selfie and this, she is trying to get out of the way but realizes that she can't get out of the way and just kind of dips her head back. Oh, well, Kristen helped her kick right in the damn back. Oh, right, shit. Right in the damn back. Like, my broke the bitch's neck. Oh. That bitch wasn't trying to get out of the way. She was trying to get in the picture. Kristen yeah. just kicked her down. Kicked her yeah. straight in the damn In the back. club. Yeah, in, mm. in the fucking club. Man. That's man, awesome. We had a fucking nut squad. So, that same, was that the same night I was driving a Suburban and we got, and I got pulled over on fucking. 40? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Me so, and Grander come down, come down US one ahead of y'all. So, and we were, <laughs> Granny was running like 300 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had, I was just, just in my own little world driving, shouldn't have been driving. And then all of a sudden, like, I couldn't even see him. I could just, the glow from behind the back of my truck. <laughs> Granny runs up on me. He had his headlights off and throws his headlights on. Scares the shit out of me. I about to go off the bridge. <laughs> Walski, <laughs> Walski comes down US one like driving Miss Daisy gets pulled over. What? Oh, oh, yeah. To listen. To listen. He had like nine people <laughs> yeah, in the truck. I, so, so I got, I'm in the Suburban, three seats, loaded down with people. And I don't, we hadn't even made it on US-1 yet. I wasn't paying attention to the speed. I'm one of those people, if you got the GPS on, I'm looking at that. Yeah, I'm racing every the yeah. four seconds he Thank looks you, at me. Give a fuck so, where he's going. <laughs> so, Stay on this road for 600 miles whilst he's doing this the entire time. <laughs> so, so he ain't missing shit. So I'm, so I'm driving, <laughs> driving, driving. We get pulled over, okay? Now I get it's you all. Oh, it smells like a fucking brewery in my suburban because everybody's been drinking and a, and, and a marijuana greenhouse. Yeah. Oh shit! So, so we get we get pulled over. I'm nervous as fuck. Now everybody was talking shit until this. Who's point. in the car with you? Oh man, it was yeah. Uh, fuck, well, I can't even remember. But it. not y'all two weren't in this. No, nah, we were we were NASCAR speed racer about eight miles. Oh, you were riding with Grant? No, nah, I was no, nah, I was separate. He was just bump draft and had his lights off and being What's drunk. wrong with him? I don't So you had that bitch loaded down. So I had it loaded down. So the <laughs> the police the police walks up to the window. So you know, I instantly kick in with my story. I'm like, I just hope I'm on, fucking drunk. On our way to no. Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so when he, Wanna so, get good seats. Sleeves cut off his shirt. <laughs> so, so when he comes up, he's like, So you know how fast you're going? I was like, Look, bro. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now. I was like, 37 I, miles an hour. I said, I said we were leaving the bar. I said I got all these people trying to talk to me. I'm trying to watch my GPS at the same time because I really don't know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like I just really didn't know. And he's like, all right. He said, oh, that that sounds pretty believable. You know, and like at this time everybody's quiet, but I look at my rearview mirror and I can see Jeremy looking at me like this and the look on his face said motherfucker don't you put me in your goddamn story <laughs> <laughs> like, like at that moment like at that moment i just knew jeremy and everybody else is gonna break out in fucking sign language <laughs> so like like this motherfucker's full of shit we won't say in a goddamn word he's speeding <laughs> <laughs> like, i swear i think the look on jeremy's face was like bro if we get in trouble it's your goddamn fault we're conspiracy to this shit now jeremy's probably just trying to take a nap yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. So he let you go? Yeah, yeah, he let me go. He Damn. Let me go. Yeah, but then, yeah. <laughs> I wish he would have pulled me and Griner over. That would have been a real good story. Good Lord. Griner, why you drive so fast, man? I don't do it anymore. I haven't got a ticket in like three years, man. That doesn't mean you don't drive fast. It means you ain't been called. That's because he thought he was in this Grand Theft Auto getting all these points. And then once he <laughs> found out the points weren't of any value, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of way off. Uh, yeah, I had enough points at one time. I was borderline about to lose my license for like five years straight. But he does yeah. drive You, sh- you should have lost your license. <laughs> yeah. yeah you should have never got a license. After the end over end blazer incident, yeah. probably should have took. Grant, Grant Grant took seems to think that everybody has rolled a blazer. How'd you flip the blazer? Put your mouth up to the mic. Everybody's done it, Griner. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep at the wheel. I mean, it's it's not it. I, it's, he works too damn hard to be driving a blazer. I, I think that's what happened. I don't know how I rolled the motherfucker. Just wanted to take a nap. I, and it, it was. <laughs> let me let me. Thanks to Terry Gunner, he woke me up to this. It was end over end. He stunt rolled it. He didn't just flip it over. End over end rolled it. Jesus. Yeah. Did and you get hurt? He cartwheeled the fucking blazer. Nah, I'll, no, just a concussion. Well, he, took out, he took out like <laughs> 10 mailboxes. He, like, he never gets hurt. No. I, I've been, yeah. No, there, was no, motor, there was a motor. There was a motor in the back of it flipping around with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> what? Yeah, there was an a, a old uh, KZ 1000 street bike motor, and it was in the back of it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the exhaust system was laying on the back seat. That's so, what caused it to go end over yeah, end. Dude. The way could have been. Nah, it wasn't that heavy. But either way, <laughs> there was dings, dents. It was, heavy. It was all baby. Don't take away the <laughs> wax. Okay. In, the inside of my car was destroyed and nothing did touched it, me. Did it land on its wheels? Yeah, it looked, fucking it nailed, nailed right it. Side nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he said right before he said yeah. my life's over. Like, right side up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If this bitch will start, I'll drive it away from here. Got him. <laughs> nah, I woke up in the hospital. I don't remember anything at all whatsoever. Did you take Xanaxes that night? It's strong possibility, but more than likely something else. That's dude taking Xanax is the only time I've ever wrecked a vehicle. I've never taken a Xanax, dude. Uh-huh. That's all they do is make you wreck cars and steal shit. Well, make me forget pass everything. Out. Pass out. We were talking about. I'm this. about to run out and get something right. <laughs> like, so fun. The store over there by the fucking prison, man. So one night, I uh, drinking some Southern Comfort uh, on ice. I had popped a couple of Zans, and I was going to meet this chick. Southern I pulled up. On ice. I pulled over at the store because I was feeling kind of off. Right. I ended up throwing up out the window. I passed out right there. But luckily <laughs> enough. I had pulled the keys out of ignition and they were on the floor. Next thing I know, it was like tap, 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 tap. I looked up and the police standing there. He's like, "Well, uh, yeah, the store owner thought you was dead." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, no, nah, I'm good." He's like, "He's like, you been drinking?" I was like, "Uh." He's like, "Well, I see a puddle of vomit right here and I could smell it." He's like, "But good thing for you, the keys were on the ignition." He's like, "This isn't exactly a good side of town. You might want to roll your window up." <laughs> Got you, bro. Got Damn, you. and they he just let yeah, you sit there. Yeah. Yeah. Walsky Walsky can't he can't he can't wreck cars fucked up. What do you mean? He, <laughs> oh bro, okay. Can so, I tell him this? What go ahead. I can tell him. Go ahead. Tell me what you mean. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. All right. We were gonna go out one night and Walsky he doesn't he doesn't drink. And I don't really just I was going to that night. So Walsky's gonna drive us off. <clears throat> so we were getting ready to leave. It was Five or six of us in Walski's. We're going to put our life into Walski's hands. So right before we leave, somebody's like, hey, Walski, you want to do a hit of acid? And he was like, sure. And everybody was like, yeah, cool. That's our DD, man. He, he can drive tripping. He can't, you know, but you can't drive drunk. This motherfucker drove us around all night on acid. Well, well don't put Kristen in that because I got a well, You just hard. did. You just said her fucking no, no, name. No, no, no because <laughs> fuck. No, because no, no, I got bitched out on the way home because she didn't know. She didn't know. That she watched acid. you do it. No, no, she she didn't know. Trust me, I got a bitch. Where'd you right have to drive from on acid, bro? All around Sanford. Oh. So you were just chauffeuring people around, yeah. tripping. I mean, because because it's like it's like as long as the mood was good, you know, I was good. But <laughs> but so so like the only people who didn't know was the chick I was dating at the time, and she made me drive her vehicle. To her house and her and her friend followed me because they had been drinking. I feel so like I, that's the point. You're like, look, this this ass is really starting to kick. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't yeah. do this anymore. Yeah, so, this so, is too bro, much. Yeah. So I'm pulling out of Applebee's parking lot and I didn't even get onto the highway and all of a sudden, like fucking the music done faded out and I'm like, oh my god, here I am, lost in my fucking thoughts, fucking trying to drive down here. And I was so I was so scared. At one point, I just took my hands off. I'm like, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll never do this again. I threw the cigarettes across the cab. I don't like, smoke shit. I, I just get me home. Just get me home. I was tough. Dude, you, I can't even drive on mushrooms, bro, to uh, be honest. Uh, I can't. Uh, I, I didn't even hit me till the next day. I was like, man, Walsky was on acid last night, and everybody thought it was a good idea that he, he's the one that drives. Fuck. Yeah, well, only him and Jeremy were actually, him, Jeremy, and Pat were actually in the house when I got acid you know what i'm saying and it seemed like a good idea <laughs> no 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 it really didn't at all it didn't not that to him, not to him. he's in the other room like hey, motherfucking boss kill him. yeah i didn't even really what i didn't really understand what was going on i was like yo what's he mean by acid pat and he's like acid and i was like all right then. so you, know you mean? took so all right look i've never done acid i've only done mushrooms so what's the difference between like tripping on mushrooms and tripping on acid 
Well, uh, uh, mushrooms was was more of like you know if you like spin your head like the colors start yeah. dragging and shit. It wasn't like that, but like acid is like an out of body experience. Like, really? Yeah, like when you could have these like dude, I was talking to God in the, in the car, like having a full blown conversation. But like it's really dramatic. Like you are deep in your thoughts. And Walski's really dramatic as he is. <laughs> a little bit of a demon. A little bit of a demon. <laughs> But yeah, that was rough. So it's like more of a trip, really. Yeah, and I, but I guess, but I never like done a whole lot. But like, if you like, okay, so I messed around and did an eight, a half a quarter of shrooms one time because I didn't know how much you're supposed to be taking. Yeah, that's what but I. That's one, what I. One of our former. There's no dosing information on the on the package. No, no, mm-hmm. none. What's that? An eighth if you want to trip fucking balls. Well, look, so so one of our homeboys. I'm not gonna mention his name because he's doing really good now. But mention everybody <laughs> else's name in Sanford. This is the one guy yeah, he's I not gonna say nothing about. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. Whoever this is has Walsy's respect. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So or some shit on him that he don't want <laughs> nobody to know. <laughs> he got some blackmail on Walsky. <laughs> no, so so me and me and Mike some Womack, bootjack stories. Some shit. <laughs> me and Mike Walmack was riding around one night, and he's like, "Hey, want to go check out, bro." Bro, yeah, you know, and I got some new digs. You know, want to go check them out? So I was like, "All right." So we went over there, and fucking Broham had fucking fucked me over one time. So we get over there. I didn't know nothing was going on. We're over there looking, chilling out, you know, talking. He's like, hey. He's like, man, you know, uh, you know, I got something I'd like to score your way with, you know, because you got done dirty that one time. And I was like, well, shit, okay, well, right on, you know, whatever. So we get handed this fucking bag, and, you know, fucking, you know, Mike Walmack's down. Oh, know? yeah. So me and him was like, you know, and I expected him to be able to tell me, like, what the dosage was. Right. I, mean, I know he's a fucking pharmacist. but you Kind of is, though. Yeah, you know what we're fucking yeah. talking about. So, like, me and, me and him apparently don't know shit about it. So, we just split the whole fucking quarter up. And we're just sitting there eating on him. Like, mm, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're good to go. Yeah, fuck no. So, old boy, <laughs> old boy walks back in. And he's like, so, he's like, trying to tell you, man. He's like, we ate a cap or two and was fucked up. And I'm like, oh, so, what would you say too much would be? He's like, would y'all already eat them? And I was like... Yeah, we split it up. What would you say too much would be? <laughs> and he's like, That's he's the first like, question Waski asks this motherfucker when he comes to the and door. He's like, and he's like, man, y'all might want to stay tonight. I was like, no, nah, we might call poison control. <laughs> he's like, y'all might want to stay tonight. I Gag each other real quick. <laughs> He's like, I don't think it's going to be cool for y'all to drive home. I was like, no, that's the sign. I need to leave right, right now. now. Get my yeah. fucking ass to the fucking yeah. house. So I'm headed down fucking tramway. And then that's like, I passed the food line, but I never passed the food line. Cause it was <laughs> keep going right beside me. You know, the colors were smeared. Yeah. Going down the fucking highway. Bro, so I go down. Uh, Schmeared out. Yeah, yeah. So we were like, I lived on Riddle Road at the time. And it was like a good mile and a half like before you got down to my house. And on both sides of the fucking road, the trees come all the way up to the fucking road, basically. And fucking, you, you look. You look up and it was like the fucking trees are coming down on top yeah. of you, bro. So I mean, I was going like five miles an hour, <laughs> feeling like you're cre- running sixty, creeping down the fucking road. I get out and Walmart's like hugging the ground and shit. So I was like, man, this is too much. So I go in my room and the fucking <laughs> like I'm in the dark, fucking laying on my bed. It's the last thing I remember, fucking. But all of a sudden, I start. I'm in outer space. I'm sitting on the fucking rings of Saturn, just sitting there like fucking teeter tottering, like I'm gonna fall over, and I fucking fell off the rings of Saturn. Apparently, fell off the tailgate of his truck. <laughs> so fucking. So <laughs> the next day, Walmack tells me he's like, bro, he's like, I was, he's, I was chain smoking cigarettes, and all of a sudden I heard this fucking thud, and I go in there, he's like, your face down <clears throat> in the crack on the fucking floor in the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, he's like, I tried to get you up, but he's, but I was like, don't touch me, don't touch me. I was like, yeah. Yeah, so that was my... So you went in deep. Yeah, went in fucking deep. Went in deep. Still wasn't as bad as Salvia, though. Thanks to Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to tell my shroom story, and then we'll tell Salvia gotcha. stories. All right, so I took an eighth of mushrooms. They were called Gerpel Caps. They were gold and purple caps mixed together. And I was taking it with, like, somebody who had taken a lot of mushrooms before. So, like, they were experienced. But for some reason, they told me to take an eighth. So I took an eighth, which is what you took right half of a quarter right yeah so i took a half of a quarter <clears throat> they were fucking disgusting and i got a big ass nose right my nose is fucking huge so i got a oxycontin 80 
and I break this whole motherfucker down into two lines. I'm gonna share half of it with my girlfriend at the time. This He's is sick. He's this sick. is on Christmas Eve. You cussed. This you cussed is on right Christmas there. Eve, right? I got these two lines. They they look like they're far apart, but apparently they were real close together. I sniffed the whole thing on accident. And then, like, I eat the mushrooms before that. So, like, I'm already starting to feel kind of fucking weird. And I'm like, fuck, I should not have done that much Oxycontin at one time. So, I'm, like, starting to freak out a little bit. I'm so fucked up, I forget I did the Oxycontin. And I'm sitting there throwing dart, like, playing darts, right? So, if the logo right there is the dartboard, I feel like I'm having to throw the dart way up at the ceiling for it to come down. And every shot I threw was a bullseye, which probably in real life, it probably won't even hit in the dartboard, but I felt like it was hitting the bullseye, and I'm like, and I look at my buddy, I'm like, man, you think I ate too many of them mushrooms? And then I just start looking at him and laughing, cause I, cause like the carpet started tickling my feet, like it felt like the carpet was going like that on my feet while I was throwing the darts, and I'm like, man, we sit there for thirty minutes and watch a TV show, and the, the like, I sit down on the couch and it just hug, like the couch just hugs me into it, bro. It felt like I was being spooned by the sofa. I watch this TV show. I'm like, let's go to the store. We're in Carolina Trace, all the way at the very back of the neighborhood. You ever been to the very what, back? It, where the fuck back? Yeah, there? Christmas Eve, awesome, Christmas Eve, Carolina Trace, all the way in the back of the neighborhood. He's like, yeah, probably not a good idea to drive. I talked him into letting me drive. We get in my Jeep, dude, and I'm driving probably, like you said, 20 fucking miles an hour or less. And you you remember them Christmas decorations of like the Santa Clauses and they were looking out from behind the tree like it was yeah. a real Christmas decoration. Yeah. I see this fucking Santa Claus and my man comes up behind me. He's in the back seat and the girl I was with was in the front and he said, "Look at that Santa Claus," and it sounded like he was talking through a megaphone in my ear and it freaked me out so much that I could not control my arms, bro. I had to pull the car. I felt like I was in a video game. My brain could not control my arms. I couldn't steer, and I had to pull over the car and let the girl drive. I could not fucking... I literally could not drive. It was too much for my brain to handle. You ever ate mushrooms before? All right, so it's like small task or like the biggest deal in the world, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. like any small little thing. Yeah, like no motor movements. And like no Dude, movement. it's like if I wanted to reach out and pop that can open, it would be like an act of Congress for me to do yeah, that. I, I'm, I'm the least experienced drug user in Sanford. That's what I'm trying to make you understand what doing mushrooms yeah, is like. It's crazy, bro. It's fucking <laughs> Can't crazy. Can't even imagine. Can't even so imagine. I always tell Grinner if I make it to 75 years old, I'm going to show y'all a drug habit. I'm going to definitely <clears> eat mushrooms <throat> when I get old. For yeah. sure. Yeah. And when I get to be an old man, I'm eating mushrooms. I'm, I'm going to enjoy I'm my fucking... There. You're going to do cocaine uh, yeah, and mushrooms yeah, together? Sir. That's what you yeah. need. I think that's called hippie I'm, flipping. I'm going to come back and do the podcast then and be like, man, <laughs> <laughs> I got a mushroom story for you. <laughs> Hell yeah. He, he loves having us around, man, because like we had the fucking beach and this fucking random dude fucking pops up while we're out in front of the bar and he's like, hey, blah, 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 blah. You done fucking crystal before? Got some. You know what I'm saying? Hey, one of us between me and this shithead, we fucking done just about everything. Yeah. Thing. So all of a sudden it's a fucking full blown conversation about how your fucking dick goes numb on crystal meth and everything. He balls tingle. He balls tingle. <laughs> he's over here soaking it up like, hey. Man, uh, it just weirded me out. And the pipe was too hot, too. I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> Dude, you smoked salvia before? Yeah. yeah All right, okay. what the fuck's up with the salvia, bro? So, what kind of shit is that? So, salvia is actually a plant that you can go get. Yeah, at the, I've smoked it before, but yeah. what in the fuck? So... So this motherfucker comes back from up north, and he had who Granner? Yeah. So he apparently tried some, but didn't fucking explain the severity of the fucking situation. <clears throat> so we're sitting up in Bo's room. He fucking, didn't tell you how crazy it was. No, no. Gran- his, his, Granner exact will words, mislead you. His, his, his exact words. His exact words. You in a heart. Right dude. down the rabbit hole. Of I should have. I should have known when it comes in a container this big, and, that, <laughs> and that's like that's like enough for everybody. I, it probably should, but I you know it was like eighty X. Yeah. At least, at oh least Jesus that. Christ! Probably one twenty. So, so Grinder's like, so Grinder's like, pack a bowl full of it, bro, and then just hit it and just fill your lungs up and hold it in as long as you can. That's so, a great Grinder impression, yeah. ain't So I'm like, so I'm like, all right. So I hit it. I'm like, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? I smoke weed. Fuck, what's this gonna do? So I held it in, held it in, and like. <laughs> By the time I, before I could even start exhaling, it had like everybody in the room had these fucking dotted lines around them. And I was like, oh shit. So I was like, I need to get rid of this. So I started blowing it out. And then it's like the fucking, it's like the candy man. You know, when the bees, when the bees was coming out of yeah. fucking mouth, that's what it was. Like the whole time I'm exhaling, it felt like fucking bees was coming out of my mouth. It looks like he's on the green mile. 
Then all, of a, then all of a sudden, you remember the old school TV? Like they would, the picture would start scrolling, yeah. and you have to smack the motherfucker to get it right. <laughs> yeah. So like all of a sudden, people's feet were up here and their heads were down <laughs> here. And there was a line in the room. Like I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but fucking Terry and everybody was like, I stood straight the fuck up, and like I was incoherent. They couldn't fuck with me. They was about to throw me back down on the couch, and I was like, just bent over, like I was about to headbutt the table. I was like, you start sweating. Well, yeah, you get real fuck hot. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Walmack just stood there and. Like we were listening to the fucking radio, and he hits the shit next because obviously fucking that's what watching. you gotta know that's after what, you see. That's, that's what gets me. Is like I, I want to try that. Yeah. You gotta know. Yeah, yeah. After seeing man, that, I, I see know, it, man. I, I learned lessons from everybody else. Like, if I saw you're that, you're a lot like, smarter I'm, than everybody I'm else in this room. Shit, I'll I'm tell not, you that. I'm not fucking with definitely, that. I'm not fucking with that. Definitely. So Walmack hits <clears> it, and he just fucking stands there and he's off looking at the fucking thing, like in the floor. Just like, oh, we took everything out of his hand in case he like gonna fucking collapse or something. And then when he finally comes to, he's like, bro, I was. I felt like I was on a billboard and I was the point in K97.5. <laughs> Holy just, shit. Just sitting there chilling out. <laughs> what I was the like, fuck? yeah, Salvia's some weird shit. Like, I had heard y'all talk about some crazy shit, but like, fucking Salvia, that was. You like, have zero control over yourself yeah, or yeah, anything. Fucking, you have no yeah, fucking yeah, control. Fuck, it's like somebody that. reached into your brain and just went. The first, like, first warning sign is, is Griner saying, hey, try this. D- absolutely. If. if if it don't have buttercream icing on it, or it don't say that Nana made Man, it, didn't make I ain't it. fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> or snails. We ain't fucking with snails. If, if, if Nana makes a goddamn cheesecake, I'm eating the fucking cheesecake. Oh, hell cheesecake. yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, so t- so do you remember the first time you smoked salvia? Tell me about it. Tell me about the first time you smoked salvia, because that shit's crazy. Well, this is the shit that I, this is the shit that I brought Walski. The first, I got it when I was up north. It was in I think, Connecticut or whatever, so... I was at a cookout by myself. I didn't want anybody to know that I had this shit because I couldn't find weed, but I found this shit in a store. Nothing like weed. Nothing. Nothing. No, no Nothing. it renders it you. Not a you. weed substitute. For no. Sure. You're completely incapable of controlling your own actions, period. So I try it, and I, I, didn't, I didn't think anything was happening, and I was at a cookout in the front yard. Wasn't, there was nobody around, and all of a sudden, people were calling for me out in the background. <laughs> Like it was like, uh, it was like he said one of it was on a megaphone. Like it was like, "Where's Chris?" <laughs> and then it was like, and then it, I started hearing my name. I got paranoid, and, and then I thought people were after me. He's over there. Get him! <laughs> so I took off running back in the house, and I, I went downstairs and hid in a hide bed for like probably about fifteen minutes. <laughs> Like freaking out, drawing all kinds of attention. The, what, I, the thing was, is like you can't speak. Like I was trying to talk to myself, and I couldn't. I bet I he was so graceful when he was together, running too. And I was drooling oh. all over myself. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Drool. Everybody did it. Walski did it. Walmack did it. You smoke it like your mouth opens. You can't speak, and Dumb you drool ass. at least a gallon of drool all over yourself. God, that sounds so fun. Yeah, and, and dude, it's the least fun thing you'll ever do yeah. in your life, bro. These it motherfuckers really failed their class. Dude, it's so gotten bad. it. Dude, it has nothing that has shit on that shit. Like nothing that I've ever. Has anything you've ever done have anything no, on that shit? No, no, because that's the only thing that I, like you just cannot control. Like even on acid or shrooms, you have these <laughs> moments where you can pull yourself back. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you have little fucking moments. No, not with Salvia. You're fucking gone. Like he hits it. Hey, give him a good fucking. Two or three minutes of And it fucking, feels like uh, a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eternity. Eternity. <laughs> it, it feels, I'm like, well, make it stop. Yeah. Like, you make try it to, fucking. You try to it's instant. It. As soon as you blow, as soon as you start to blow the nasty fucking smoke out, dude. Yeah. You try to explain it to people, like, bro, it's like a two or three minute. Like, what the fuck? Two, three minutes? Yeah. If it lasted any fucking longer, you go insane. You would. Yeah, for sure. For dude, sure. I heard this story. I think it might have been on Joe Rogan podcast, but this guy was saying, it was Ari. The smoke salvia, and he said he lived an entire like six yeah. months in yeah. another person's life. I've heard it being years. Like years. you think like it's lifetimes. years? People said that they have lived a yeah, lifetime. That's what it was. That's yeah. a lifetime of other of somebody many, else's life. How, what the fuck kind of shit is that, dude? How many how many times have you done it, Grant? Oh, probably about yeah, probably about more 10. than one. More than <laughs> yeah, one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I was out in Iraq. Oh, you, you did it more than once too, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Damn, yeah I did too. Look, we yeah. no it's, just, it's like different kind of every time, oh, yeah. though. Oh, like, yeah. you like, see I different shit. Like, I must have done it wrong that time. I'm going to try to no, do it. No, but it had multiple levels of X, too, because, like, you know, 
<laughs> yeah, because if sixty X ain't good enough, they got eighty one twenty. Yeah. One, one of them's gonna hit different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but, it's it. But if you smoke the same shit, like which you, ne- I it's never not the same experience. It's different every time. Did, it's did, 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 did 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 anybody have a good experience? I did. Mine wasn't that bad the first time. That my was the first one when people were after you and you were drooling all, all over no, yourself my first in a fucking hideaway no. bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, my first experience was not pleasant. That was your first Not experience. Not pleasant. Out. That's how he yeah. described it. My cholo homeboy. I'm drooling all over myself in a hideaway bed. <laughs> Not pleasant. My cholo homeboy. Not enjoyable. Out there in Iraq, he almost flipped out on everybody smoking that shit. Because like, cause it was me and a couple other dudes that we had tried it before. And like people would come out on leave and they would sneak something back. And uh, So we had this big well, ass room. You could room. smoke it in the military. It wouldn't show up on a drug test. Right, right. So, so we had this big ass room. We're out in Iraq. And we invited a couple people in there. And my homeboy pulls out some salvia. So like we're over here bitch hitting it. We're, we're like bitch hitting it because we know, you know, we know what the fuck it's going to do. I mean, we are in Iraq. So know? if you don't hit it hard, do you, you still trip? Yeah, but yeah, you just take these little, you know, little hits. I've whatever. never done that, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I go for the guys. I, I, the they, they're like, cash it out, cash it out. <laughs> so, Suck the ashes through. So my home, so my homeboy, like, this dude is like the epitome of what a cholo would be out there. Like, you know, in the dickies, folded over. Yeah, kind of dressed like the way Walski is right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> So old dude is like, man, fuck that shit. Dude. I've smoked everything. This shit ain't nothing. I'm like, okay, no, bro. you fucked okay. up. You so we sat him that. Way. So we sat him down on the fucking couch, and he takes a fucking monster hit, and the motherfucker just looked up at everybody like this, and then like fucking stood up, sat down, stood up, sat down like four <laughs> times, and then we tried to make a break for the door. We had to grab him and sit his ass down like, yo, it's gonna be over in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Like, but you can't hear shit though. No, no. Like I don't remember hearing an English word while I was on that no, shit. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Not no language of any kind, dude. When I when I hit it, like I was at uh I was hammered drunk and I was at fucking uh not is it spring Br- junior senior. Yeah. That's where I was at. I think Chad Gunner was there trying to fight every goddamn no, body on the strip. Yeah. Not Chad yeah. So yeah, so give me believe before that. I before I met up with them, we were in some hotel room like tenth floor throwing fucking crack lighters off the balcony and they were fucking blowing up. It was cool as shit. And then we fucking hit this salvia. I might have been the one that had it, but I really don't remember. I hit this salvia. It's the first time I ever smoked it. And when I hit that shit, dude, Louis Vuitton symbol started. Like, all I could see was patterns, like you were saying, but it was Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something. Like, some sort of, like, pattern. And I started drooling and sweating, and I felt like somebody, like, had the back of my pants pulling me down to the floor. Like, I couldn't stand up. Like, all the weight felt like it was on my back pulling crazy me shit. down. Crazy. Dude, it's crazy. crazy. But, like, I, I remember seeing people's faces. Like, I could see, like, if I hit it right now, I could see you sitting there. But, like, I couldn't hear anything you were saying to me. Like, it transports you to another fucking dimension, For bro. Sure. For sure. You ever done DMT? No. I knew that. I was getting ready to ask the exact yeah, same thing. Nah, no, I've never done it. Have yeah, you ever done it, Grainer? No. Really? No. I find that hard to believe. It's on a I do too. It's I'm, on a I, I might would fuck with that. I, see, I don't think I'd do that. I would. Just from the shit that I've heard. It sounds like salvia to me, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, just yeah. from the shit that I've heard, yeah. it's like, it yeah. yeah. uh, sounds a little bit like but, salvia. But lasts, I, I, I've heard like some pretty long. cool stories of people I've heard doing cool that. stories, I've not too. Heard one cool story about somebody doing salvia. Oh, There's man. There's no cool stories. I'm sweating. I'm drooling. Somebody's pulling me down. Sounds awesome. I don't know. Being on the billboard of K97.5, that sounds pretty cool. Being the, the point. The point. Very specific. That's all he was. He was probably there hey, for that, months. What's that stuff, Granny? You can do in Peru. What's oh, it? ayahuasca. Yeah, ayahuasca. Yeah, I heard that's not fun. Yeah, I, I, I heard that's terrible. You you vomit and cry for like. But it can hours. rewire your whole fucking brain, is what I've heard. Like the dude who did it told me he was like, I I cried and I threw up for eight hours. It was the most surreal experience in my life. No shit. I was so like, you know I somebody has done it. I had yeah, I had the flu one time. Did the same shit. But you Flew were in, you were on planet Earth. Earth. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, yeah, I do know somebody that did it. So what? Why'd they do it? Just to do it? They were in Peru, went in Rome. Oh, so they were just like, all right, I'm gonna do ayahuasca because it's two plants, right? Isn't it oh. two plants they mix together? Yeah, to that's, that's Know that's anything about it? He knows everything. In, ayahuasca is DMT. He's a shaman. I don't know about He's a shaman. That. Ayahuasca yeah. is DMT. Look, it, I was yeah. trying to explain it to Grant, I forgot what they called it. And I called it peyote juice or some shit. And he's like, oh, you're talking about ayahuasca from Peru. Yeah, but it, I heard it can like cure addiction and shit. 
Like Gunner I heard, knows I've a place. Heard, Gunner knows a place that. in Kentucky you can go to it. Cure addiction, get your addiction cured. The ayahuasca. No, yeah, they do ayahuasca. Because I was like, somebody's I would, uncle fucking molest you after that. Probably. The guy administering it definitely looks like it for sure. Does he? Yeah. Is he like a shaman? Yeah, that's what he says. He's like a. He's shaman. a white trash he shaman. That <laughs> if he's from Kentucky, he's definitely white yeah. trash. He's not a shaman. Uh, so you've ever never done ayahuasca? No, you can't. That's, would you? That's stuff would would do you? It, though. Would you? I mean, I'd be down. I, would. I think it would change, probably change you as a person. Bro, one of the things I love about Griner is he will do any. Like, he's down for whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. Will you, will you go with us? Yeah, I'll go. Remember that time? Yeah, he pretty much York? is. He pretty we much is like, down for whatever. We That's why I fuck with Griner, though. Me, too. That, yeah. We were going to go to New York for something. He's like, bro, you don't want to fucking go. They shit in the streets. It's fucking nasty. <laughs> like, just cash Chinese shit people about it. Like, they're trying everywhere. to talk us out of it. And I was listening to him. I was like... So you don't want to go? He's like, no, I'm a fucking go. I'm just telling you, <laughs> you don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. Grander texted me that like two days ago and was like, hey, dude, you want to go to what'd you say, uh, New Orleans in a month? I'm oh, like, bro, I can't God. just. I'm glad you brought that. up. I never texted him back, but I'm like, bro, I don't need to text you back to let you know. I can't just pick up and fucking leave whenever the fuck I want. He asked me to. He was like, you trying to go to New Orleans in, in August? I was like, yeah, that's exactly where the fuck I want to go. The humidity capital of the fucking world. Bro, in so August. Murder rough. capital too. So I ain't even worried about that. I'm just. It's fucking hot. <laughs> they got they got they got fucking mosquitoes in Louisiana. They can flat foot fuck a turkey, and that's where I want to go. Oh, in August. Hell it's like no. little helicopters. Yeah. Uh, I did training out there, and as that. soon as they opened up the fucking plane, you just instantly drank. Louisiana is just one giant natural disaster. Fuck yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. We, so we, are you going? N- no, no. I think no. Granter just gets online and finds the cheapest plane ticket anywhere, and he's like, I think That's I'm going exactly. go. to go. Exactly. Dude, he I would have gone had it not been for these two. Why? Myrtle Beach. No. Oh, that's not my fucking fault. Oh, tell us about Myrtle Beach. Oh. What, y'all went to Derriere's. Yeah. I know that, right? Oh. I've been to Derriere's. I know yeah. it's full nude. So we're telling this? Full so nude strip so club. <laughs> y'all smoke crack or something? I mean, what the no, fuck? No, that, that, was, that was the meth story. <laughs> yeah. 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 Grander's, uh, Grander's smoke crystal. <laughs> nah. Uh, Derriere's is... Disgusting. First of all, let me fucking say that. Fucking dis most fucking just disgusting strip club I've ever been to. You been to Masters? Yeah. Masters is fucking a million times better, in my opinion. What do you think, Walski? I don't know. I've never been there, but they said it was too clean. It was too clean. Oh my god. That was my choice. It's BYOB too. Yeah, my choice was the Masters. (laughs) Graner's choice was Oh, Masters was too clean. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Man, you know Graner. Like Graner wants to go to full nude. Graner wants to see some puss. He's so fucking extra on just about everything. Except for strip clubs, then he wants to go to the picking out stores. cheese in the grocery <laughs> well, we store. Was, we was in there giving ninety five different stories about who he was. I was the bodyguard. They were, <laughs> they were like, it was like the president of Peru and Canada. I mean, like fucking, we just a million different stories. He's over here trying to tell everybody that we're millionaires. It was just fucking. They didn't. Crazy. I told him. I told him chicks that Grant Arwalski had money in all four pockets. And did they swarm him? Kinda. Dude, Grinder's so awkward in person. Like right now, he's kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> he don't, he don't want us talking about. Masters it. is way better, dude. No, that, I don't know, dude. That that dairy airs. I was extremely uncomfortable in there. Let me just be fucking honest. Yeah, I was just uncomfortable. It's just kind of weird. Well, uh, I mean, it's I, like I, if I, I started like a strip, strip club. Period is kind of weird. Yeah, it kind of is. But when they're fully kinda naked, is. it's a different level. Like the first it is time, a different level. The first time I'd ever been to one is I had a uh, two week R and R from Iraq, and I t- was like, you know, like I got fucking ten grand. What am I gonna do with this money? We gotta go somewhere. I've never been to a big city, so I fucking rented a car, punched in the GPS, Atlanta. Had the homeboys with me. We go down there and we roll up in the motherfucking strip club, and all of a sudden there's fucking coder everywhere, like just barracuda everywhere. I'm in like, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, holy shit! Like, where the fuck are we at? You know what I'm saying? And like, my homeboy Red is getting a lap dance and he doesn't even know he's getting charged with it motherfucker came down there with twenty dollars in his pocket and then racked up an eighty dollar bill i'm like hey bro i think she's charging he's like shit for real he goes up, he goes <laughs> Man, up, you can negotiate with him he goes up to yeah. go to he goes to the bathroom the stripper sits down in the chair and is waiting for his ass to get back oh, oh shit oh it was funny so i had to pay her off fucking did it 
I mean, we took Walmack to the strip club one time, and this motherfucker didn't know if you sat at the bar, at, like at the stage. Yeah, they'll or, fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, they're going to. So, so Jeremy's Jeremy's sitting right here, Walmack sitting right here, and I was sitting right here. So I was like, man, I gotta go take a piss. I, I walk off and I come back, and Walmack is fighting with the stripper, <laughs> fighting with the stripper. That everything had stopped. Like, like everybody's, kind of like some arguing everybody, or yeah, some they're, fight. they're arguing like hell. Yeah. She was about to whip his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he is pissed because Jeremy done turned his back to him, like he don't even fucking know him. <laughs> Wouldn't give. See, apparently the stripper came over there to shake their titties and wanted her fucking dollar. Well, Walmack didn't have no dollars on him. And Jeremy wouldn't give him a fucking dollar. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy's drunk and thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. And Walmack's screaming halfway across. Like, I ain't even made it all the way back yet. Walmack, give me a goddamn dollar, Walski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking me and Walmack, fucking like the same, the same R&R trip. Like my very first night back, I take him over to Mickey's. You know the fucking classic oh, yeah. joint and fucking. Oh yeah, like the one that gets busted for, for, for prostitution yeah. every six months. Yeah. So fucking, I take Walmack with it's me. Closed now for prostitution. <laughs> I take Walmack over there. Fucked up my Tuesday night to Mickey's. And I gave him, I gave him a big old thick stack of ones, and I slid a twenty on the bottom of it. I said, "Here's, you know, if you see something you like, go get you a private dance, right?" So I went off, started doing my own thing. Not gonna lie. I may have went to one of the Asian huts uh, outside. <laughs> right of, across the street. Yeah, a yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a for real whorehouse. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. So I came I came back, and he's pissed. I'm like, what the fuck happened? He's like, bro, you know, I was out there making the rain, and I forgot there was a 20 on the bottom. He said, I threw the fucking 20 out there on Damn. stage. He's like, I tried to reach back for it, but that bitch slammed her foot on top of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Pulled it on back in. I was like, oh, God damn, he's been out of shape. You can't do Pull that, Walmart. Walmart. What the but fuck? I, so so to make up for it, he's supposed to be my DD. Well, I don't got nobody else to get drunk, so I'm feeding him fucking shots. And we're out here in my little low-rider truck. I had a little S10, had an extreme. Had yeah, I remember it. Yeah. Fucking sweet. Yeah, yeah. so... Fucking, Things fast. We, we pulled up. We pulled up in the damn gas station, and this motherfucking gas station had an island on it, like in the parking lot. Had like an island that stuck out. Well, I'm drunk, hanging out the fucking window. I probably done puked. Fucking just like just fucked up. Walmart didn't have his glasses on. This motherfucker took out the curb and my whole ground effect up underneath, like oh, road, just crumbled shit. it. We <laughs> drug it all the way back to fucking Sanford. The ground effects getting all fucked up. I fucking wake up. I'm out there in the fucking yard, and my oldest sister's boyfriend's trying to pull me in the fucking house because Walmack done ditched me. He pulled up in the yard and then took the fuck <laughs> off home and said, "Fuck this motherfucker!" Left me out there all fucking drunk in the damn yard. Yeah. Were you at? Were you ever stationed in Fayetteville? Uh huh. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I got stationed at Fort Bragg for years. See, I did. I did uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina for basic. Then I went to Fort Benning, Georgia for airborne school. And then I got stationed at Fort Bragg. Did about a year at Fort Bragg and then got deployed. And I was trouble while deployed. You know, I came home and got out. That fort, dude, Fayetteville is such a shithole. Such a fucking shithole. God such damn. A shithole. You know Jacksonville is pretty much like that, too. Y'all ever yeah, been to Jacksonville? Yeah. Yeah. Jacksonville's got a strip club when you're going into it, and they have a sign out front, and always they have porn stars coming there. And I got to Google who it is every time when I go by, I see the sign, and I'm like, uh, they had Alexis Texas. I knew who that was. So I was like, everybody knows who that is. Yeah, I, but they always have porn stars. I'm like, I wonder what this porn star looks like. But that, what's that called? Uh, not Mickey's. In I don't Fayette, know. In Fayetteville? Nah, it's in Jacksonville. It's like a little tiny place, and they got porn stars there every month, dude. Like a different feature porn star coming there. It's so weird to sounds, me. That's fucking weird. It sounds classy. It's yeah. It's but Jacksonville reminds me of Fayetteville. Oh yeah, Fayetteville's a nice. Marine place. just fuck up towns, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. They get just it. run them yeah. down, bro. They Were you a Marine? No, fuck. No. Marines oh, just man. they just run it the fuck down, dude. They have fun, dude. Fayetteville is like you can't go there and not have an adventure. I try to see crack whores fucking video. walking down the road all fucking day. It is what that it is. shit's fucking crazy. It's like dude. the fucking Facebook of fucking cities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, if you, like you just two places you guaranteed to see some nasty bitches on Facebook and, and Facebook. All right, so how do you think? I wanted to talk to you about this. I know I said something about it before the podcast, but how do you think that like social media and like these cell phones are like? good and bad like what's the good and bad with them like how's it fucking up people because y'all y'all are 30 
so you remember like what it was like before we got the internet and shit like Fuck, yeah, what do you yeah. think do you think like we're headed in the wrong direction this is just something that i'm interested in like what people think about it man it, it's headed in a bunch of different directions like like all of a sudden like these like i could walk down the road and see this chick and she's not feeling herself she's she was nothing before you know what i'm saying now all of a sudden she gets on facebook and all these fucking horn dogs fucking liking her shit yeah. boosting up her fucking self-esteem and now all of a sudden like she's got this big ass goddamn opinion about every fucking thing she's the hottest fucking thing on earth you know what i'm saying it's just like i don't know it's like it's not real though it's no, like not a no. real no, but like, I mean, because all of a sudden you meet these people out in public and they ain't shit. Yeah. They're, they're nothing. They're nothing. You know, like me, I'm the type of person, you see my videos, you can relate to me like, that's fucking Walski. That's yeah. the same motherfucker. Yeah. You see me here, you see me there, like, I, I, I don't change. Right. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these motherfuckers get on there and they're taking these fucking pictures and it's extravagant, uh, uh, taking uh, spur of the moment trips. <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, you know, like, but I mean, but I mean, it it forces you, it forces you to want to be like these other motherfuckers. It Instead makes you compare being, yourself. Yeah, to exactly, others. exactly, because you're seeing all these people do it. Like, maybe I should be doing that. So that's why I make fucking videos about you know trying to be a better parent. Yeah, you know, doing this, doing that. Because damn, man, I hope like somebody picks up on it. Because you know, like as time progresses, like even take being a parent for example, like people. People forget like what the fuck they're supposed to do like you don't want to do that like, you're not going to go out and do the exact same shit that your parents did because it's a different day and age yeah you know what yeah I'm saying? Like, for sure so you know you just forget like well what the fuck do we do how do you fucking interact with kids you know how do, how does everybody doing this is new that's what age? that's what i think's bad about it like put the fucking phone down and and, and go do yeah, something Yeah, exactly exactly like, it keeps phones, you from experiencing life phones are just like how many concerts you've been to where you Half the fucking people aren't watching the concert. They're too busy Snapchatting yeah. it or Facebook Live. They're watching it through the fucking phone. Well, watch it on TV if you want to do that. Like, and plus, we don't fucking give a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't, don't want to do watch that. It. I don't want to watch it. If you're Snapchatting oh an entire God. fucking concert, I am. I, I'm t just know I'm talking shit about. There's it. a handful <laughs> of mother. There's a handful of motherfuckers. I do not want them to go on goddamn vacation because that's all you're gonna fucking see is. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm like, goddamn, you're not just enjoying do your it. vacation. Just yeah, do just it. Just do it. Just be in the it. moment. Yeah. Like, if you want to take a picture to remember it. Like, take a picture to remember, but don't fucking record the entire thing. Yeah. Entire or trip. seven days later, give us a fucking collage. Let us relive it in one day. I don't need to see you every fucking day. Drinks by the pool. You know, <laughs> went to the mall. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, fuck, man. Yeah, like, who, goes, who goes to the mall on vacation? I did in Vegas. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> went in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Go, go to the well, mall. So, like, it makes you shit on the moment is what you're saying, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, I think it does. Like, I think it does, too. You don't. I like, agree 100%. Like you, like everybody sees something. I mean, go to the beach. The sun's coming up. Like instead of just watching the fucking sun coming up, thinking, "Man, this is awesome." Like, you know. No, no, bro. Let me I, get my phone I got, out. I got to get a picture of yeah. it, bro. Let me get the right angle, yeah. hanging off the fucking balcony. Oh, you know. Yeah. 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 Bunch I, of people dying taking selfies, bro. Yeah, that's. Bunch of people died in the Grand Canyon this year. Yeah, sure. taking fucking selfies. Taking selfies. Did you not know picture. that? No. This lady was trying to take a selfie with the jaguar at the zoo, and it fucked her up. Did you know that? That's, that's, that's what, what you get. That's what you that's get. Dumb bitch. Yeah, that's you right. dumb bitch. You know you was too fucking close to the edge. Ain't no fucking. Come that on, jaguar man. was like. What do you think? I'm gonna get her. Let her exactly. Over here and what take do you think his diet consists of? Cotton candy, you dumb bitch. Fuck like, no. he's gonna eat your ass. Yeah, but it fucked her up. Swatted her. Fucked her up. Yeah. People yeah. getting fucked up. Yeah, but it, it is natural selection. They're yeah. going to die. And you're yeah. going to go fucking kill Ombre because he did what he was fucking supposed to do. You know what I'm Are saying? you talking about the, uh, what, was what was the was monkey's name? name? Damn, I can't what remember Harambe? his name. Harambe. Oh, Harambe. Harambe. Yeah. Harambe. yeah. Because he did what he was supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, ripping bro. that kid limb exactly. for limb. Yeah. You put something, look, look, did the, kid, the parent was probably on their cell phone when the kid fell in the fucking cage. It, yeah. exactly. that's, that's the problem. I think it's phones. You think you phones could, are the problem? If you couldn't get on Facebook on your phone and you could only get it, get onto it with a computer, I think it'd be fine. I think you're right. Yeah. It's too easily it's accessible. It's a fucking addiction sure. to phones. I'm addicted shit. to my Me phone. Too. That's like, what I was just like telling y'all about. Like, just sitting here, like, I know, like, I'm picking it up, looking at it, and I, there ain't nothing going on in this motherfucker that's important. Yeah. But it's just, a, it's just a fucking habit. Well, I ask that question a lot because that's why I started this podcast, because I felt like 
I would get with my boys or, or my friends and I would be like trying to talk to them or have a conversation. And you know, there's always that one motherfucker that when they look at the phone, they can't hear nothing you fucking say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot fucking stand Zone that. Out, yeah. Like, Zone let's out. just don't ever talk again. How about that? Leave. Yeah, don't ever fucking sure. hit me up you, again. You could text him though. He get yeah. Back oh, for you. sure. <laughs> oh, you want me to just? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about being in public and you got these parents out here who might have one, two, three kids and they're not even looking at their kids anymore? Oh yeah. Like because they're just so into this fucking phone. They're walking around the fucking grocery store. Kids are fucking just ah, all over the fucking place. And I'm like, hey, just want to go over and smack the fucking phone out of hand. You fucking retard. You take being a parent seriously, obviously. Shit, yeah, yeah Shit, and too. I like that about you. I think that's a good trait to have because. All right, in my opinion, I feel like that if you don't put 100% into a kid, like, it can fuck them up for life. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, if you're not giving your kid every bit of energy you got, like, it can literally have long life-lasting, life like, impressions on that definitely, kid. Definitely, definitely, I man, because every day they're forming and growing their own opinions and thought processes on, yeah. and on everything. They're like a sponge. So, yeah, so, yeah, so if you allow them to be raised by, like for me, I was raised by my homeboys out there on Buckhorn. So for the very first part of Dang. my life. Grainer was yeah. raised by wolves. Yeah. Yeah. I was, and then Grainer went raised by wolves. Yeah. 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 Like, That's I where was, you get all these salvia yeah. stories yeah. from. Yeah. I, had this, like, I had this like fucked up mentality. Like I fed off of what everybody was throwing out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I had some good role models. Like the parents, like the dads of some of the homeboys that yeah. I had. But, you know, but for the most part, you know, I collected all this fucked up shit. So, I, and me knowing that, you know, now I got my nephews at the house and their fucking dad rolled off on fucking drugs. And, you know, and I got my own daughter. I got my oldest nephew. His dad was murdered in 2009. So, I got all these kids around and I'm just trying to throw shit out there. You know what I'm saying? For them to just latch on to. Try That's to awesome. be there for them. You know, cause, That's the most important thing I feel like as far as us being adults. For sure. Like the way we treat kids and the way that we for sure. teach them. For sure. And I mean, because I mean, cause they're going to end up growing up and having their own kids. You know? Yeah. And I mean, and it's, and uh, man, there's like so many things you can go on. I pulled up to my uh, daughter's school one day. I went to go drop her off. My fucking fuel pump went out as soon as I pulled in. You know, it's like the elementary school beside uh, Wesley. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean. Didn't the, that burn they, down? No, one of them burn Boone Trail Elementary burned down. Burned down, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, what's the, that? J R Ingram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the cops out there directing traffic. That's how early it is in the morning, right? So I pulled in there and my shit just like cut off, and you know I'm like. I'm freaking out because Escalade? Yeah, this motherfucker yeah. fell. He was in shambles. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm telling you, he was freaking. I, I, out. I mean, because like I got oh, my daughter course. in the car, yeah. so I'm like, man, I'm like, did it run out of gas? So I'm like, baby, just sit here for a second. I'm running because there's a gas station like right there. I was like, I'm gonna run right over here real quick, get some gas, and you know, I don't want you out here. I don't, you know, it's embarrassing enough. Yeah, I got myself. So run over there, get some gas. It won't the fucking gas. So I was like, shit. I am fixing her to have to walk my daughter down this damn road to go to, to go take her to school with her. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed as fuck. We got out, and I didn't even take two steps, and, like, the guidance counselor just pulled up right beside me. So I was like, hey, hop in. I'll give you a ride down there. You know, we'll drop her off, and I'll bring you back to your vehicle. And I brought, like, you know, like, I... I felt like, man, if this chick was God sent, because on the way down there, she's like, hey, she's like, you know, I just want you to know that, you know, all the bad situations are t meant for something too. And I was like, well, you know, what do you mean? She's like, you know, whenever you come up in these situations, the child is watching how you deal with this problem. You know, if if you freak out, then they're gonna learn how to freak out. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, and it, but it never even hit it because I I didn't freak out. Like I was like inside, I was yeah, panicking. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. embarrassed. You know, I got my daughter in the car. I got to get her to school. He you was know, panicking but, on on uh, text messages too. <laughs> yeah, cause I was calling everybody by the time I got back. Where to you call. at? But yeah, but I was like, but you know, and she was like, you know, she was like, it's really good. I see that you're being calm, and she's gonna take that and, and in her future. Whenever she runs into a problem, she'll be cool, calm, collective. You know, get on with it and i was like damn man so all the moments every single moment everything's important we take that shit for granted yeah because you're on yeah. your fucking phone sometimes yeah we're just doing some bullshit living your own life because we're selfish by nature of course right you know yeah. what i'm saying and we are I mean, it's, it's so hard to make a person think about thinking outside of their own you know little shit and especially even just trying to teach kids stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like two plus two equals four. Why the fuck can't you understand that? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's just simple shit. But, I mean, they just like, you got to teach me. You know, my daughter won't even sit in the, like, 
I know as soon as I put my daughter at the dinner table, I'm going to tell her at least five times to put your legs in front of you, sit in the chair right. You know what I'm saying? It's just repetitive over yeah. and over and over and over. I can't, I'm not really there yet with him. I mean, he, he'll he pretty much, like, he ain't asking me why yet and all that stuff. You know, I'm sure that that's going to come. But, like, he pretty much just takes my word for it at this point. But I know their kids get to a point where they're like, why, why, why? And you think it's important to tell them, like, why? To explain yeah, to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. not just be like, because I said so, but, like, I mean, tell I them why. I Walsh definitely. is going to be like, because there's a child molester watching. <laughs> and if you got your legs out from underneath the table, that motherfucker's getting you. Yeah, He'll scare the shit them. out of the fucking kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot of a lot of it, when you got so many kids running around, man, I, I'm not afraid to use intimidation. You know, so I'd be the loudest one. Get your goddamn ass over here. <laughs> I thought he was going to whip every kid's ass at Carolina Beach last year. <laughs> I mean, you know, this shit happens. It shit happens. I ain't afraid. You know what I'm saying? Because I, cause I, I can't. Motherfucker had me walking in straight line. Like, I was ready to. I mean, like, even we'll go to a birthday party at the damn bounce house, and there's this fucking kid, you know, jumping over the side. Hey, somebody get his goddamn parent. Somebody get his parent. <laughs> Who's the parent of this one? You know what I'm saying? Because one little asshole does it, all of them are going to do yeah, it. Yeah. You know oh, yeah. Kind of like when one asshole smokes out. Yeah. The rest of them are going to And then they do it again. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> so if it's stronger than times. Yeah. Trying so. To get- so what's the good things about the phones? Like, tell me, like, what's a positive? What do you guys think is a positive? I think that a positive for me would be, like, we have access to information like That's, we've never had before. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, like, I'm not – my parents, I think, used to make a lot of shit up. Oh, I, st- I still, do, yeah. I still do make yeah, a lot yeah, of I shit do, up. Yeah, I do, too, but they can G-check you right there. They can Google yeah, that shit I, right I, there. Yeah, but I make it sound so good they don't even fucking check. They're I'll just, tell them Google's lying to them. Yeah, I'm like, nah, really, Wikipedia, that's – some Anybody can write that, that shit. shit on there. Yeah. But see, there's a downside to that too. Like as far as there being too much information out there for our brains to process, right. and like looking for an answer and getting five thousand of them when I Google something. Like which one do I believe? Like what's, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, you. I mean you do get mixed shit from a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah in, information is 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 a good one. I mean I think that's a plus for phones. Being able to contact that. Being yeah, able to right contact. Then. Yeah, right then. I, I, sometimes I think that's bullshit too, though. I mean, that just instant contact, like, <clears throat> like we were talking before before the podcast about, like, I remember when we had that one phone in the house with that long ass cord. Yeah, like that's the only fucking phone we had. Only one person was yeah. on that bitch. And like, say, say your mom had to call somebody and she called them, they didn't have, they didn't fucking answer. Oh well, they must be out cutting the grass or whatever. Yeah. Like now, if like. If somebody texts you and they don't immediately hear back from you or fucking you don't answer the phone, they're like, oh, something's wrong. Yeah. What the fuck? It's kind of hard not to think that, though. Yeah, like, if you're on the other end, like, if you're like, oh, well, what's going on? They all right? Yeah. Because they always text me back. Yeah. It's kind of hard not to think like that. But, too. I mean, in a way, but or they could just be talking to somebody. Oh, they probably are. In real life. Yeah. And they're just like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to answer the phone right now because yeah. this would be rude as fuck if I'm like, hold on, let me find out what they want. Yeah. I don't know. I just I wish we could go back to that phone. Is there? But you see, we got we got two good things, but then there's also downsides to those things. Is there yeah. anything else? I mean, what? Well, the I mean, fuck? I mean, you know, there's there are a lot of people dealing with a lot of shit, and for me, that's my outlet to try to help people. I mean, yeah. like, yeah. like, I mean, you know, you you got this chick who's just had a kid, and you can tell that she's not really feeling her new body. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the way it is. I mean, you know, I'll be the one. Hey, you looking good, girl? Right. Like a whole snack of the. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's like just a whole uh, snack. Oh. Uh, so I mean, just just messing with just messing with people because people yeah. do. I mean, like makes me laugh. Yeah, like social media makes me oh, laugh. Yeah. I mean, so, Instagram a lot, makes a lot me of laugh. Good things with social media. I mean, I laugh a lot at social media. Yeah, networking is important though. That's true. Because yeah. because I mean, because you can be a millionaire, and if people don't like you, then they'll watch you spend your money all the way out, and then you'll just be a broke ass dude. Because yeah. I mean, you can go down if you. I mean, if you don't have people backing you, you know. That's his network. Yeah. Well, life to me is so, like, relationships with others is so important in life. Just, like, that's a huge part of, for me, what life's about is, like, building relationships with others and getting to know people, giving people the time of day. You know what I mean? Like, treating people with respect and listening to what they have to say. It's definitely not about taking selfies with your fucking jugs hanging out. Nah, you know and there's no talent. But y'all, don't, you y'all, have don't, no y'all f- don't stop doing that, though. Yeah, we still want to look at it, yeah. but, it, but you don't have any talent. It. Yeah. Like, you, you, it took no fucking talent. You, like, you just got blessed, and you look great. 
I mean, uh, but you didn't really put – most of them don't put that much into it, you know? No, no, no. No, they don't put enough into the picture because the motherfucker is right up here. And that's all you see is a yeah. little bit of face, a whole lot of titties, and you see them in public, and they look like a fucking walrus. You know what I'm saying? Did you see that they're taking the – you won't be able to see anybody's followers on Instagram or likes? Yeah, I heard about Did that. Did you hear so about they that? started in Instagram, Australia. Instagram about to go out of business. Dude, I think it's awesome because, like – 90% of the people on Instagram do it for the likes. That's yeah, it. for sure, and but like, and that's terrible in it and of itself. Terrible. In and of itself, that's fucking terrible. Because if, as if we don't seek validation from other human beings already in everyday life, like it's somewhat, even if you don't give a fuck oh, yeah. what anybody thinks, I feel like I don't care that much about what people think, but I still find myself seeking validation from others, like through everyday life. Yeah, and then you I, got social media, and it's like a million times worse. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think they should be searching for val for. You know, reassur- reassurance from people who fucking matter, though. Like, yeah, no, who you're gives right. Gives a fuck about some like the team. people you love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if if one of these guys or you say, "Man, that's fucked up," I'm gonna be like, "Okay." Yeah. But if somebody on Instagram is like, "Hey, I think you're fucking up," I'm like, "Hey, how about go fuck yourself?" Yeah. You know? Well, I told somebody pretty much told this old lady to go I fuck herself it. today. <laughs> today? Yeah. I was wait. I, I, oh, I on Facebook it, yeah, when yeah, I said, yeah, uh, yeah. you probably saw it too. Yeah, I, I forgot kinda, what I, I said. I forgot what it was, but you were like, yeah, how about you go fuck yourself? And yeah. I was like, Yo, yeah, shut the fuck up. Like, exactly. I don't even oh, know who you are. Because Matt, yeah. cause, uh, I've Mad seen her Dog, like one time in my life. Yeah, Mad Dog said no, said no to something. Yeah, he was like, uh, he wanted pizza. Yeah. And he was like, she was telling him to go to timeout. He was like, no. I felt that. Dude, he too, rarely man. ever acts like that. That's I can't believe I she got that and on she was like, And she was like, son about poor parent. I'm like, who the fuck are Oh, you? yeah, you know, you know I was. What I'm saying? I think I. Damn. And then some other dude wanted to like try to get buck with me on there. Did you see that? Yeah. Like some that, dude was yeah. saying something. I can't remember, but I was just like. I don't even know you, bro. Like, would you say this to me in a room? Yeah, that's what internet, I'm saying. Like, like, like what? Balls. You know, yeah. I there's mean, no that's social that's cues. There's nothing. Like, you have nothing. I have nothing to go by but what you type. And if what you type sounds like you want to beat me up, then I'm not going to take it in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It's not constructive yeah. criticism at all. Nah, and even when it's just a little, just a little clip of of the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like kids act like assholes sometimes. They I mean, do. it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 feel like they, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like they act like assholes a lot less than we do, though. Yeah, no, you're As right. I act like an asshole. I, yeah. I told this old lady today, dude, I was coming through this residential neighborhood. And look, where the fuck we're from in a residential neighborhood, the speed limit is 30 fucking five. Unless otherwise posted. Yeah, or okay? unless you're grand or, unless you're grand yeah. or speed demon. All right, well, it was otherwise posted. Okay, and it said 15 miles an hour. I ain't driving nothing 15 miles an hour, dude, except a bicycle. So I come around, like, I come around a 90 degree turn. I'm going slow as fuck, dude. I'm going 25. And this lady is walking her dog, and she's like, like, I see her doing that. And I'm like, I hit the fucking brakes. I put it in reverse. I put my window down. I was like, how fast you think I was going? She was like, the speed limit. This is exactly what she said to me today. Now she goes, the speed limit's 15 miles an hour. And I said, I said, how many times do you tell people to slow down out here? She was like, oh, I say it all the time. I said, I bet you do. And she said, you're an idiot. I put my window <laughs> up and drove away. <laughs> but, I, but I was just like trying to prove a point. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, I'm going 10 miles over the speed limit. Just shut the fuck up. You pro- you're out here all day worried about that shit. Exactly. That's all like, I usually just let it, it slide, dude. Yeah. But that's the second time I've done that. Like, I'm going slow as fuck. Don't fucking tell I me to slow down. I can't let shit slide. That, like, shit like that, I, I cannot slide stand that especially like if i was walking down the sidewalk and you want to tell me to walk slower you wouldn't open your fucking mouth i'm yeah. in a car that's why you're doing that and you don't think i'm gonna put it in reverse yeah, yeah, you don't and put my window down yeah. and it's the same shit with social media like that's exactly you don't right. think i'm ever gonna see you in person so you think you can just say whatever the fuck you want and it's always these people who i barely fucking know have you noticed that it's yeah. never somebody that i'm gonna cross paths with probably or that i've ever even met you know it's just like it just makes no sense to me. Like that's why I kind of, if I say something, I'm trying to be funny. Basically, yeah, on sure. social media, for I'm sure. just trying to crack for jokes sure. and be funny, and maybe offend you a little bit, but it's still funny. I'm pretty offensive most of the time. Yeah, yeah. you but think I mean, people get offended too easy nowadays? God, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, well, I, I get, I get offended, but even though I throw it out there, and I could take it. You too, probably got you know pretty thick skin, dude. I mean, I mean f- eh, for the most part, you know what I'm saying. Like you gotta, 
You He's gotta like, hide. Cry, baby. You gotta. Oh man. Oh, I, I ain't afraid to go fucking straight diva, the motherfucker. I, I cuss this motherfucker out for agreeing with me. Yeah, right? I agree with this motherfucker one time. He's like, "Look, motherfucker, I ain't gonna stand here all day. I'm fucking leaving." I was like, <laughs> "I had I to get said, it off my chest." I was bro. like, "I said, I said I was going with you." He was like, "Man, it's too fucking hot out here. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go get something to eat." And I was like, "Yeah, cool. Let's go do that." And he's like, "Look, goddamn it, I'm not standing the fuck out here all day with this bullshit." And I bro, was like, I said I was going. We were out there in the fucking Sahara Desert known as Nashville. Bacon. Trying to go to this Oh, is this when y'all concert. went to Jelly Roll? And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And fucking Jelly Roll was the shit, man. Now, like, we were there for the Yellow Wolf concert. Yeah. And fucking Jelly was the fucking man. Oh, he's like, awesome. Yeah, fucking Yellow Wolf, man. He's a dick. Like, is he? Yeah, he's a, like he's just like above himself. And some la- fucking redheaded faggot Ritz, this motherfucker yeah. just thought he oh, was. Oh, Ritz. He I know thought who that he is. was just as fucking cool as Yellow Wolf. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Look like a fucking pumpkin. I don't know. <laughs> who, the, who the fuck are you? But yeah, he was over there like. Jelly was, was super cool he, down he, to earth. Oh, dude like he was out there he was the first person out there like shaking hands with everybody in line like i got pictures all on my facebook like we all took pictures with him he's out there blazing i mean just having a good fucking time big henry was cool too you seen that video of him freestyling over i've seen fire and i've seen rain i love that shit that james taylor freestyle fucking cool and then that one freestyle he's got like an old one it's like five minutes long and he's like and if my P.O. ass got hang drywall. Yeah, that's like one of my yeah, favorites of yeah. all time. When I saw that, I became a Jelly Wolf fan. Like I saw that video and I'm like, damn. I re- or a Jelly Roll. I said Jelly Wolf. Um, I became a Jelly Roll fan when I saw that. And I started listening to his music and I liked that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. I like he's that. I like cool. Waylon Jennings' grandson too. You Struggle. heard? Struggle. Uh-huh. Struggle Jennings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, have y'all seen him live? Yeah. No, I haven't seen he was the he, uh, nah, no, I no, 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 no. He was there when uh, the concert Chris and them just went. All right, to, uh, y'all believe in aliens? Of course. Yeah, but dude, I mean, there's life. There's life out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like, uh, you know, what there's everybody else. Out there for yeah, sure. what everybody else calls alien. Like, do I have any fucking clue what it might look like? No. Nope. Yeah. But I mean, it's definitely unrealistic to think that you know we're this big in yeah. the grand scheme of things. What about mid. what about you, Granny? Granny, you believe in aliens? He's probably believe he fucked the alien. <laughs> <laughs> he would. He would eat an alien ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from behind. From behind. From behind. That's why he wants to go to Area 51. He's like, fuck it, I'll fuck it. Yeah, I do want to go there. I just want to watch and see what happens yeah. to these people. Yeah, with a hold her legs back for Yeah. Him. <laughs> Look, Granny, aliens are real. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, we're probing other planets right now. Like probing. another planet. Bro, he had to say that. Had to say oh, that. Bro, he couldn't say explore. That. He couldn't say none of that shit. He had We're to say probing, probing, probing deep space. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all think they've been here before? I don't know. Man, that doesn't. No I mean, talent. if you believe Bob Lazar, yeah, it's kind of hard not to believe him, though. Man, either either he's a stone cold liar or he's telling the truth. Do you think they've been here before? I I I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'd like to think so. There's a All lot right. of cool shit. All right, one more ex- extremely important question I want to ask y'all. Have you ever seen your smartphone in your dreams before? No. No? No. Why? Why the fuck is that? The that's, podcast I did Thursday, they, they said something about it, and I was like, what the fuck? Because we look at it. Every night before we go to bed, we look at it all the time. But why is it not in our fucking dreams? Mm. I think dreams could be something way more important than what the fuck we think. To could be, or like, it could be some shit that we can't even fucking I've see. Seen well, don't that. I've don't seen fucking that. tell me that, because now I think I'm going to skate down the fucking mountain in my fucking compact. Booth, I've seen that. Flexing. Dude, that, that, that's what made me want to ask you that. When you told me that, I'm like, I'm going to ask him, has he ever seen a smartphone in his dreams? No, I've, I've, why the fuck do you think that is? I've seen that, that, that one phone in the kitchen. With that you have board. seen that, in for my, real? Yeah, in my dreams, yeah. Why do you think we've never seen our smartphones? Do you think they're like some kind of evil fucking shit? Probably. And like our dreams are like some higher being type shit. The mark of the beast. It could be, bro. Could be, bro. That's so weird, though. World currency. Like you can watch a movie and then have a dream about the movie kind of though, right? Never see your fucking phone. Have y'all ever like watched a movie and like had a dream? I've like, had a dream about, about the movie or something similar. Um, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of like a scenario or falls, from the movie. Fall asleep yeah. with the movie still playing on. All of a sudden, yeah, you're yeah. In the fucking yeah, movie. yeah, something like yeah. that. But like, why not the phones? Why can't we? Why can't we see the phones? That's fucking mm-hmm. weird, right? That is weird. When they said that on the podcast, I freaked the fuck out. I just couldn't. Like, I was like, I was wondering why. 
if anybody has seen their phone in a dream, I want to hear about it. If you're listening to this podcast and you've seen your phone in a dream, I want to hear about it. Definitely. So, I think that's the most important thing I want to (laughs) That's it. That That was it. I appreciate y'all coming down here and doing this podcast with me. Sure, man. I fucking, I wish that we lived closer so we could do them all the time. Because I think y'all should have y'all's own podcast. You should definitely have your own podcast. (laughs) I don't know why you don't. You could just do it on your phone. Maybe one day. Maybe if one you day. do, you need to tell me so I can share all of it. And sure. I'm mean, be like, these do not necessarily represent my views, but <laughs> I will share this. Yeah. I'd, I'd like, I'd like to have one. I want Grinder on it though. You should definitely have a podcast. You're like in the podcast. You're into like interesting shit. Yeah. Like you're not like this one. That's kind of how I am. Like there's not like one thing that I'm like focused on. It's like a bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean, I would if I was gonna do some, I'd it'd be with him because I mean, I need somebody to feed off. Should. I just, to, to I just like interacting with people. Yeah, yeah exactly. me too. Like, me that's too. my that's my whole thing. That, I feel like that's my whole purpose on earth is just to fuck with people. Like yeah. whether it's positive, negative, like because sometimes people need to hear the shit that you know they need to be put straight. And then some people just need a fucking joke. You know, it's man? therapeutic That's to it. get your thoughts yeah. out too. Yeah. Like, like shit that you've been thinking about. Like, like I wouldn't want to sit in my own thoughts about that cell phone dream shit. Like, I need yeah. to talk to people about that because I'm gonna go crazy thinking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just shit like that, and like social media. Like, I'm interested in that. Like, where where the fuck are we going? Are we gonna in, in implement technology into our own bodies? Like, how is this shit gonna go? How know. fucked up are our kids gonna know. be because of this shit? Right, and you if, know you don't, what I'm if you don't have interaction with people, it's hard to remember what the fucking normal is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like that movie Castaway. Remember yeah, that yeah, shit? Yeah. He got yeah. stranded on the island. To a fucking ball he forgot how to though. talk to people though. Yeah. Exactly, because you don't, because you don't know, you're just lost in your own thoughts. So you yeah. Don't what even was know. the volleyball's name? Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. Wilson. 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 Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Y'all should start y'all's own podcast. We These know. shits are like a buck eighty, dude. You can you can just get you can do it on your phone. You really don't need shit. But you could get like that thing right there. That it's like two hundred bucks at uh, Best Buy. You could do your own podcast audio with that. I'll help y'all start it. I really yeah, think y'all should do it, man. It y'all, are, a, it'd just be a fucking rose session between this. That's fucking me, fine, me, 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 dude. We argue the whole time. That's argue why I did mine hunt for greatness because I didn't want to put no limits on it. Like I want to, if we want to just sit down and bullshit and talk shit and tell yeah, stories yeah. about buckhorn, that's fine. And if we want to talk about crazy shit about aliens, that's fine too. I just didn't want limits on it. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, just, think, I, just, I just think I, wanna, I think I y'all would be good whatever, at it. Whatever comes to mind. Yeah, exactly. Y'all yeah. should do it, man. I'm fucking. I'll invest in it. We might start one after we we do this sober October shit. Oh, what are we gonna do? We I gotta talk know. about that. I know. We well, gotta we talk about that right now because we, we ain't got much battery left. Yeah. His, his shit's dying. My shit's dying. What are we gonna do? Are y'all in on it or not? Yeah. We need to know now before well, I'm, we I'm decide. Go ahead and tell you, Walsh, he's gonna last at least four days. I'm gonna give you four week. good days. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four good days. Are you gonna do it with us, Grander? Uh, it's subjective. I don't know. We all right david know. all right david let's figure out what all we're right. doing and then maybe we can get grinder to commit so we're not smoking salvia for 30 days straight i'll tell you that <laughs> well damn it damn it we well, gotta give something up right yeah yeah well we talked about no sugar jerking the weasel no caffeine and no jerking off for 30 days is that what you think it should be man i don't know i might go crazy but I, I'm if I can't, tell you, I'm if not I, gonna last look, four if days. If I can't give, can't here's how I see it, bro. If I can't give those three things up for thirty days, I'm a weak fuck. That's true. That's how I see it, and that's how yeah. I'm gonna look at it. Are you in on that, Grinder? So what are we doing? No, <laughs> why the fuck? No, what's that? Was a quick answer. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Cause he said I'm beating my dick. <laughs> what's the hang up? Jerking off? I'm gonna beat my dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the bathroom, I can watch. Yeah, what's the hang up? What's keeping you from doing it? I love it. <laughs> oh my god Grander what, you, what will you give up For 30 days What yeah. would I give up yeah. yeah Not jerking off That's for sure Breathing heavy I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I will not breathe heavy For 30 days Can we do that Is that what y'all want to do That's going to be tough man I mean it's got to be tough It's got to be tough You're like, exactly we just, right We just tried the no sugar thing And how long did you last really well, until y'all fucking piss me. Y'all, off. hell, y'all, y'all, I didn't. I oh, didn't. Look, here's what we're going to do. do. Hey, just poked, there's got to be a reward for who does it or who comes. Well, how you going to, like, what if two people do it and how do you come in first? Like, who comes? We got to have a loser. I guess it's sudden death after the 30 days. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to come up with a sudden death. Yeah, like, so, so I think, next day to day I think we should all throw, like, we need to make it like an even, like, or whatever y'all want, but I was thinking like a hundred bucks. I'm cool. Like with between that. the three of us. 
Yeah. So we all throw thirty three dollars and thirty three cent. Granter ain't Easy, doing it, man. Come Are on, you gonna Grant. do it? No, not Come really. on, man. Hey, what's twenty five bucks? What's dude? something that you will give up for thirty days? <laughs> That'd be tough. Fully nude strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, we did. We, did do we can't let Grander dictate this no. contest. Well, I just, I just want to see what. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. What will you yeah. give up? No hip hop dance for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> no break <laughs> dance. No twerking on in a handstand. I could, uh, I could give up caffeine for 30 days. Bullshit. You think so? Yeah. What do I, you think? I'm willing to let Grander slide with just no caffeine. All right, you need to do two of the three if you're going to slide with me, bro. Pick sugar, <laughs> sugar, sugar and caffeine, jerking off. sugar or jerking <laughs> off, dude. Which one's more important to you? <laughs> we about to see where his real problem is. Sugar or jerking right? off, dude. It's just for October, dude. It's yeah, 31 it's 30 measly days. goddamn days. And Halloween's one of them. You brought, yeah, give jerk, You better give jerking off up because Halloween. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you, you got you. Got All right, so you're doing, sh- you're doing sugar and jerking no, off? Caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> I live with Nana, motherfucker. I ain't giving up sugar. So, 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 so you right so, there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you'll give up. You'll give up caffeine and jerking off for 30 days. Yeah, and yeah. we all and us three agree. Caffeine. You're really gonna let us outdo you like that, dude? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, I don't, give a, don't give a fuck. All yeah. right, so we'll give up sugar, caffeine, caffeine and jerking. And off. if if more than one person does it, we'll go into a sudden death. So so the sugar but with the hundred bucks, we need to get a trophy or something. We need to get something ridiculous with the hundred bucks and whoever. Like we need to agree on some sort of dumbass shit that we can buy for a hundred bucks. Let's buy a wrestling belt. You think we can get one for a hundred bucks? Man, we can get. I think so. Let's get. Let's do it like. Yeah. Let's do it like Rogan and them yeah, do it. Let's get yeah. a championship belt because I will be posting some videos <laughs> with that motherfucker. How'd you, how'd you get that belt? Not jerking off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the no yeah. jerking off had, champion had, had blue balls for twenty days, bro. Yo, I think I. I mean, after like. 20 some days don't you have wet dreams don't you get unloaded oh, yeah. by Jesus that doesn't count <laughs> unloaded by Jesus <laughs> Jesus jerk you all after 20 that's days that's it you have a hole in your bed you just got kicked off Facebook yeah. <laughs> have a hole in your bed from humping that motherfucker so we'll get a wrestling belt yeah, we'll, we'll do it for real. for real I'm so stoked about this yeah, shit I'm this not. is gonna be awesome <laughs> this is gonna be awesome Brandon's gonna be so pissy we ain't gonna be just, around him that much just, right but, nah but I no, not really. He ain't welcome gonna, here for that October, dude. After 30 days, he's going to be chucking it so much, it's going to be the house is shut down. <laughs> Walking around. Beat butt- your dick raw. <laughs> All right, so so Sober October Challenge. Kristen just said she's fucking pissed at us, by the way. Why? For what? No sugar for her birthday month. Oh. Well, you're just going to have to eat that one. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean like not do it. Not really yeah, eat yeah, the sugar. Yeah, yeah. So no sugar, no jerking off, and no caffeine. So as long as the thing says zero grams of sugar. Yeah, and, and you're saying no fake sugar too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You agree? You can't eat fruit. Motherfucker, you're eating sugar. Yeah. Well, you're, saying, <laughs> sugar has natural <laughs> fruit. Like, no, you can. Or fruit has natural you know sugar. Like, look, look up the ingredients to strawberry. What is it? Strawberry. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What is it, dude? <laughs> yeah. Strawberry motherfucker. Yeah. It doesn't say, you know. Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if it's a concoction. If, it's a fucking if there's food, any question, if there's any question, we'll text each other and see yeah. what's good. You don't want to ask this one. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't ask. Now we're gonna get text messages. Sugar, gonna, natural sugar and fruit, right? Yeah, but natural but sugar and fruit. The ingredients. But you gotta Google that. Are we going by ingredients or are we going by nutrition facts? Well, you can eat fruit. Okay, but just as long as the shit says zero grams yeah. of sugar. Oh, if it's got a I feel like I'm going to fuck up and do it on accident, dude. And gra- God like damn you it. you just said, let's text, text each other if you got a question. Yeah. Don't send us pictures saying, is this considered jerk? We need to be in a group. We need to <laughs> 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 gonna be flopping yeah. a dick against the wall. <laughs> Does this count or no? Like, <laughs> <laughs> jerk it off or not? I can't wait. <laughs> jerk it off or not? <laughs> I can't wait to get that text from We Brandon. need to get in a group text. Yeah. We need to all be in a sober October group text. I can't, I can't this is going to be fantastic. This have a loofah around I can't this. wait to get that text from Granite. Well, y'all just have fun on my 25. What, what, what happened? Both. Six minutes <laughs> yeah, in. Six minutes. Oh, He's we, jerking out on the 12th oh, 5 October 1st. We were starting now? Like, today for real? <laughs> if I was jerking off at 11.59, does that count? Can I finish? <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's done. So we're doing it. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to put the $100 toward a fucking belt. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to be pissed if I don't win that fucking belt. You ain't getting it. I'm gonna be pissed if I don't, if I see Walski or you. I know Granter ain't getting Walski. it. Well, I mean, you ain't gotta worry about it. If I, I fuck it up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it up. All right, so it. you're. I fucking, just gotta make it past four days to break my record. I need you to do that. I need uh, some competition. He's he's gonna you gonna be, be my competition yeah, or what? Probably. He's gonna be. He's gonna get pissy one day. He's gonna jerk off. Be drinking Red Bulls. Jesus Christ, yeah. jerking off with Red Bulls. Yeah. Two of them. All right, thanks for doing the podcast. Yes, Remember sir. where you heard it first? Did your phone just die? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, I wonder if it posted. I wonder if it... It probably did. You didn't bring a phone charger? <laughs> we fucked up. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. We're brought to you by Walmack Electrical Contractors. If you need them to light your fucking world up, call my man Wesley Walmack, 910-231-7679. Thank you guys again Thank for doing you, the podcast with me. Thanks, Granter. I love you, buddy. I love you too, Granter.